What's up guys, I'm Katie Kurtz with Dead Center and we are at the opening night celebration on the rooftop of the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. There are still a ton of parties happening all weekend long and they are pulling together people from right here in Oklahoma but also people from all over the country. All right, we are with Phil and Matt all the way from New York. Now you guys have the film More Perfect Union in this. Tell me a little bit about this film. Uh, well, More Perfect Union is a, uh, a short film about relationships. It takes place in a, uh, a bed and breakfast in rural Virginia over the course of a weekend. It's a, uh, it's a comedy. Uh, it stars a young man named Max Agile, who is a uh, kind of a, an, an adrift young man who's just had a, a fight with his girlfriend and he uh, decides to take a vacation that they had planned together and goes alone to this bed and breakfast and kind of uh, throws himself into trying to repair the relationship of the couple who runs it. So tell me about your film that's showing at IAO. Well, it's uh, it's entitled Mowing Shoes. It's a short inspired by a joke that uh, Oklahoma City comedian Spencer Hicks came up with. And so we made a movie, and then I cut out a ton of it, and that joke wasn't even in the final product. Uh, but it's about a guy who really is obsessed with his mowing shoes, and he keeps them clean. Of course, it's a comedy, about five minutes long. All right, Jamie with Floating Lanterns. Tell me a little about, about your film. Uh, well, it's a short film. It's about a Japanese-American girl uh, who on the Day of the Dead actually finds their brother has killed himself. Um, it's kind of a sad story, but she's left with the responsibility of kind of telling her family of the bad news. And, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a poetic piece, really about that moment of, like, trying to decide when you're a teenage girl what exactly you're going to do, how you're going to, like, deal with this very adult problem. Um, so, yeah. And, and where are you coming from to get to Oklahoma? Um, I just came in from Los Angeles, California to the very hot Oklahoma, believe it or not. <laughs> kind of ready to go back to 65 degree weather. We are with Brian Hearn, who is actually at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, the headquarters for the festival. How are things going here so far? Well, look around. It's going fantastic. We're at capacity and uh, it's, it's exciting. We love it. We love having Dead Center here. And uh, I've heard a rumor that being the curator of films here at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, you are responsible for getting a few of these big films here to the Dead Center Film Festival. Yes, yes. So, um, for example, uh, Kim and Lance and I attended uh, Sundance this year, and our program director, uh, Kevin Ely, who was at South by Southwest, we were all kind of fishing for new stuff this year at those festivals um, that would be a little bit more high profile. And a lot of those films are ones that show here at the museum. So yeah, we uh, went out and chased those down. Films like tonight's opening film, Page One, or Troll Hunter, which is one of my favorites. And how do you, how do you actually go about getting a film of that magnitude to a festival like this? Well, um, it's definitely negotiating. A lot of these films, when they have their premieres, they sell quickly to distributors, and then it's a, a process of convincing them that our festival is significant, significant enough to have a screening. So in the case of Page One, we're literally the last American festival screening before it opens in New York and LA on June 17th. So that was a tough one, but we pulled it off. So what, how did you hear about Dead Center? How did you get into this festival? Um, I actually just found it on Without a Box and like thought, you know, it sounds pretty cool. Take my chances and submit it and got lucky. Well, we had uh, finished the film and we uh, sort of were sending it around to festivals and we got into the Dead Center and it just seemed like a really cool place. All the interactions I had with people involved and reading about it, it just seemed like my kind of place. Um, even the fact that they asked for a quick time movie as opposed to a DVD, I was like, I like this festival, you know. And what's it like being in Dead Center? Well, this is my first film festival of all time, so this is going to be a learning experience for me. How to talk, how to give people business cards, which I didn't even bring tonight, so I'm working on it. But it's a fun experience in Dead Center. It's awesome to have here in Oklahoma City. Um, I, I'm having a great time. I don't know about you, Phil. <laughs> I'm having a great time. It's been it's been fantastic. We've never been to Oklahoma City before, and uh, this seems like the the way to experience it. Although we might get blown off this roof it's at any moment. Awesome. For a list of the entire schedule, go to deadcenterfilm.org.